hello everyone welcome back to another video from english excel in today's video i am going to discuss about overview of icih guideline friends if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for my latest video updates so let's begin first of all i will tell you what is icih guidelines ICH stands for International Conference of Harmonization to provide uniform standards for technical requirements for pharmaceuticals and for human use. It is developed by regulatory and pharma industry authorities. The purpose of ICH guidelines is to ensure safe, effective and high quality medicines are developed and registered efficiently. Now I will tell you origin of ICH guidelines Harmonization of regulatory requirements was pioneered by Europe in 1980s At the same time there were discussion between Europe Japan and US on possibilities for harmonization The name ICH was given at the meeting in April 1990 Topic for harmonization would be divided into safety, quality, and efficacy. Next is types of ICH guidelines. The ICH guidelines categorized into four types. Number one, quality guidelines. Number two, safety guidelines. Number three, efficacy guidelines. And number four is multidisciplinary guidelines. Number one is quality guidelines. The quality guidelines are divided into following types Q1A to Q1F for stability Q2 for analytical validation Q3A to Q3D for impurities Q4 to Q4B for pharmacopoeias Q5A to Q5E for quality of biotechnical products Q6A to Q6B for specifications Q7 for good manufacturing practices GMP Q8 for pharmaceutical development Q9 for quality risk management Q10 for pharmaceutical quality system Q11 for development and manufacture of drug substance Q12 for life cycle management Q13 for continuous of drug substance and drug products and q14 for analytical procedure development next is safety guidelines the safety guidelines divided into following types s1a to s1c for carcinogenicity studies s2 for genotoxicity studies s3a to s3b for toxicokinetics and pharmacokinetics s4 for toxicity testing s5 for reproductive toxicology s6 for biotechnological products s7a to s7b for pharmacology studies s8 for immunotoxicology studies s9 for non clinical evaluation for anti cancer pharmaceuticals S10 for photo safety evaluation and S11 is for non clinical pediatric safety next is efficacy guidelines efficacy guidelines divided into following types E1 for clinical safety for drug in long term treatment E2A to E2F for pharmacovigilance E3 for clinical study reports E4 for doses response studies E5 for ethnic factors E6 for good clinical practice E7 for clinical trial in geriatric population E8 for general consideration for clinical trial E9 for statistical principle for clinical trials E10 for choice of control group in clinical trials E11 to E11A for clinical trial in 
pediatric population. It will for clinical evaluation by therapeutic category. E14 for clinical evaluation of QT. E15 for definition of pharmacogenetics. E17 for multi regional clinical trials. And E18 is for genomic sampling. And the last one is multidisciplinary guidelines. It is divided into following types M1 for med DRA terminology, M2 for electronic standards, M3 for non clinical safety studies, M4 for common technical documents, M5 for data elements and standards for drug dictionaries, M6 for gene therapy, M7 for mutagenic impurities, M8 for electronic common technical documents, M9 for biopharmaceutics classification system based biowares, M10 for bioanalytical method validation. Friends, this is all about the ICH guidelines. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.